it's a very important, and the thing about it, it, it draws attention, it's contagious, the laughter, and it works immediately to kind of deflate the balloon. And, and you see, you know, in history, there are maybe two kinds of humor. The dark side of humor is when you make fun of the weak. And this is also very common, that you tell jokes mm -hmm. about the weakest members of society, and that's not dangerous. That's the easy stuff. And mm -hmm. it only contributes to greater inequality in society. Humor is at its best, also in, in terms of contribution to society, when you make fun of the people at the top. So like you go back to the Middle Ages, I'm a medievalist, so this is why I always go back to the Middle Ages. The mm -hmm. best medieval humor is jokes about priests and church people. There is nothing mm -hmm. like it. You want good medieval jokes? <laughs> it's all the jokes yeah. about the priests and the Pope, and because they are the big shots. From this perspective, it's a very important force for equality, for bringing the mighty a little bit down to the level of everybody else. And what was the purpose of you know, court jesters and people who serve those functions in society? Also, in, in a way, a court gesture is somebody who, under the protection of humor and comedy, is allowed to say things that if anybody else said them, they would just chop off his head. So it's another mechanism, again, to, a, a, a little, to level the playing field. That you will be able to tell the big emperor something that the big emperor needs to hear, but everybody is afraid of saying. So you have the yes. co-gesture.